I've been using right balance now for seven and a half years. With right balance, there are three swing models, upper, mid, and low core. Most of us are upper core. We believe two thirds of all males are gonna be upper core, all ages. And the truth is at some point as we all get older, we're all gonna end up being upper core. So if you look at me here, and you can see that uh, I'm set up here. And these are four key things about the upper core swing. Number one, hips least rotated at impact. We early extend, come out of posture, and we release the earliest. Those are three things a mid-core teacher is going to want to change about an upper core player. They're going to say we need to be more rotated, stay in posture, and release later. Well, here's someone that was very notorious for being a low core player. And a low core player is going to be somebody like Paul Azinger. Here's Azinger at Impact. Low core players are rotated the most with the weight in their left heel. And if we look at Jordan Spieth, who we believe is low core, you can see how rotated he is. And you can see where his weight is in his left heel. So here's Lee Trevino, who used to look like that in his prime, but now here at 78, this was just a few years ago, here is Lee Trevino at impact. He is not very rotated. And if you look at Lee at address, he doesn't have as strong of a grip as he used to have. I asked him a couple years ago, I said, Lee, have you made your grip more neutral? That means as he looks down at his hands, they're going to rotate counterclockwise and use your hands to release the club more through impact. He said, I can't believe you told me that. Look at this release with the hands. But he said, I can't believe you said that because I've just been talking about that with my son, Daniel. And they're going to be playing in the PNC again this December. Now, here is Bernhard Langer. He's been setting uh, the Champions Tour on fire, has the all-time record, past Hale Irwin, most wins. There's Bernhard at impact. He's my age. He's 66 now. Here's the shark, Greg Norman, number seven at Augusta. There he is at impact. Look at the right foot. Here's Chris Kirk. I get asked all the time about Chris Kirk. What about Chris Kirk? Is he upper core? We'll look at him at impact. Certainly looks like it to me. You know, he rotates into a jump. He's not very rotated at impact. Here's VJ Singh. He's almost 60 now. This was him playing in the PGA at, uh, at Ballastral. This is the fourth hole, and you can see he's not that rotated. You know, so all these players are just not that rotated. And, and so we have other players that I could show you. Um, here's Webb Simpson. Here's a guy that uh, is definitely upper core. Look at him at impact. You can see the shaft standing up. Look at the shaft. Look at it stand up. Kenny Perry, his per longtime pro said, hey, if you keep your right foot on the ground, you won't hit the ball to the right. Look at Kenny Perry at impact. Look at his right foot. Look, look how he keeps that right foot on the ground all that whole time. Kenny Perry played a draw. Here's Mark O'Meara. He's my age, my vintage, 1957. We look at O'Meara. Here he is. Look at the shaft standing up. There's the shaft standing up as he comes into the ball. So the truth is, at some point in time, we are all going to be upper core. And here I am face on, and you can see the, the upper core player turns the most on the backswing, moves the least lateral, makes a little shift, rotates into a jump. And the key thing is we let the club go by us and we release the earliest. We're not holding on to angles there. So the truth is most of us are upper core. And at some point in time, we're all going to be upper core. So you might want to understand this swing. It really is sad to me that this is not a swing that is very well known because most of us are upper core. And it's a really simple swing. 
And if you want to find out more about it, just Google right balance, W-R-I-G-H-T balance and upper core. There's a lot of information out there. I've written a book on it and it's a really simple swing. And as you're getting older, we're all moving toward this swing model. Thanks.